Hello everyone, Holotide here, and today's video is pretty ridiculous, I think. I just watched Sean W's video on huge Halo Infinite and Halo news in general, and he talks about things ranging from Bonnie Ross to a new engine that is going to be used by certain affinity, maybe going, we'll, we'll talk more about it. But first, I want to say, go check out Sean's video. I know a lot of people have their own preferences when it comes to content creators. I know people absolutely despise me. And then some people actually watch my videos because they enjoy it. So even if he is not your cup of tea, I personally trust Sean, his sources. You know, I, I, I think he's a good guy, and I think that he makes pretty good content. He's honest and stuff. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's Hopium, Copium, blah, 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 blah. But really, I, I, I really don't see that. But anyways, I'm going to link his video in the description and in the comments. Go watch it. You can either go there first or watch my video first and then go there. I don't really care. I'm also not going to ask for subs or anything like that because this is this is Sean's information. So anyways, Sean talks about how the Battle Royale is going to be delayed now. It was supposed to come out, according to sources, in 2023 in the fall. But now it's looking like it's going to have another delay until 2024. It may even be 2025 just because of how difficult it is, you know, to transfer things from one engine to another. And if certain affinity was using the slip space engine to develop the game. Yeah, I can't imagine that's going to be easy. He says that it's potentially going to be the Unreal Engine. And honestly, I've heard in the past that Microsoft definitely just wanted Halo and 343 to have its own engine because they rely too much on Unreal. But it is what it is. If it's, <laughs> you know, it's a great engine, why not use it? What I will say is this is pretty crazy. I just watched the Chris Raygun video where he was talking about how they need to take the Final Fantasy XIV approach and basically take the game offline. to have these huge foundational changes. And the thing is, if you move what was supposed to be a game mode or a game experience incorporated into Halo Infinite, it would, you know, Tatanka would live within Halo Infinite's ecosystem. You can't just separate the engines like that. So that would lead me to believe that we're going to potentially see a standalone BR from Certain Affinity or whatever that mode is going to be. Or man, what if we get a new Halo game in like two years? I don't know if you can just port over, you know, Halo Infinite for, you know, take two years to port it over to Unreal and then re-release it. I'm not a game dev. I don't know. This is all speculation. But this is the kind of earth-shattering foundational changes that we wanted out of Halo but weren't really expecting to get. So this would be absolutely insane. Next thing I'll touch on super quick because I don't really think that it's that pregnant. Is that the right word? To the Halo community is that Bonnie Ross actually did have a family emergency and Sean says we're all going to hell for not believing that. So, I mean, he also said that she might go to Activision after her emergency's done and Microsoft completely acquires them, which is I don't care about that. Nature. Later on in the video, he talks about the next Halo the Endless trademark and game and speculation on that. And the rumors were that the next game was going to come out or the next DLC would come out in 2025, which kind of lines up with the release of Tatanka now. So it's kind of looking like Halo the Endless will be Joe's actual game. It's looking less and less likely that we're going to get DLC for the campaign of Halo Infinite. I would assume that, you know, they're kind of revving up to be all hands on deck for making this new title, if it turns out to be that. And if that's the case, is that why, you know, the updates are so slow on Halo Infinite? Obviously, I'm sure the engine and, you know, the foundation makes it difficult. You know, we've heard that a lot, but man, if everybody's already on to the next game, I mean, that would explain a lot. The only problem is, is that if you leave Halo Infinite as, I guess, a shell of what it could be, and it doesn't have the MCC resurgence. And people are going to be even more skeptical of the next game. I really do feel like Halo Infinite was this golden opportunity, you know, with all the people playing and the age of the streamer and content creator, you know, touting the game. It was just, it was disappointing. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Just a quick update. Again, go watch Sean's video. It's very insightful. I appreciate what he does for the community, honestly. If you guys enjoy Halo content... Oh, wait, no, I said I wouldn't ask you to subscribe. Never mind, I was going to do my outro. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace!